Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I want to show you a custom altimeter that I made for a customer of mine. He also ordered my smallest, cutest artificial horizon. So he wanted to have the pressure displayed. Let me show you from the beginning. He wanted to show the pressure in inches of mercury. So I did edit the code for him. And uh, normally it is like 29.93, which you can adjust with the rotary encoder here. And it shows you your altitude in, oops, sorry. He also wanted feet instead of meter and the temperature obviously in Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. So once you turn it on, you are greeted with the screen, you adjust your pressure. This is pressure on sea level. I'm not at sea level right now, so I'm a little bit higher than that. But for the purposes of this video, we assume that we are at sea level. And then you long press on the encoder and then it switches to your main screen. It does show battery voltage. It does show your adjusted inches of mercury. It just show your it it does show your altitude in feet and the temperature in Fahrenheit. And when you click on here, you get to this screen. This is actually the screen that you adjusted. So here you cannot adjust it. Oh, I'm sorry, the other way around. So on the first screen, on the Q and E. Um, sorry, I forgot what that meant, but uh, here, this is your fixed position. And if you need to adjust it in mid-flight, uh, disclaimer here, this is not a certified uh, altimeter. So don't use this as your main altimeter, okay? So anyway, once you're in flight or you're approaching your uh, destination and the pressure has changed you can adjust the pressure accordingly here and then it will show you your correct height altitude so that's that of course I had to put my name on here sorry about that and it has a light sensor so during the night if this is too bright it turns into red so it won't um, blind your eyes and uh, this is it here is the on off switch and here is the usb type c port that you can charge it obviously has a battery in it and uh, this is it so i hope this will i wanted to make a video for him as well because he asked me how to adjust it so this is how it is very very simple and it's a cute little altimeter and i think the octagon case uh, fits well with uh, current flight instruments as, as at least from what I saw so this is it and here is again the uh, attitude indicator also known as artificial horizon and I did change it a bit I made a USB port uh, connector here because otherwise since the sensor is pretty big inside um, you would have to get the USB Type-C plug all the way in there and then you are pulling it on the, on the PCB so this is all uh, snap fit you can just pull it apart and look inside if you like but this way it is better uh, better, yeah, better <laughs> for the charging port and there is also a charging LED inside which you can see shine through through the translucent case here of the connector on off switch and this is also it so I hope this clears it up for him I will ship these out as soon as I get a phone number to put on the shipping label waiting on that and in case you're wondering this is a beats per minute indicator that I'm building for a customer he also ordered a spectrum analyzer right now we are testing the code and uh, in 
in case you're wondering what this is, this is the first version of a magnetic scroll wheel. As you can see, there is no rotary encoder in there. And it does really come in handy if you have items on your screen that you need to scroll, like long web pages or, for example, like I need to do more often. Let's put it back there. You have, of course, if you move with your mouse onto the screen, you can scroll it. <laughs> I think this code is frozen. Hold on. One second. Yep. I have too many uh, codes open. I cannot scroll that one. Here, of course, it works. And you can very precisely use it with your. Oh, I can, you cannot see that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's do a little bit. Okay. Well, anyway, this is how the final product will look like with an acrylic bottom with NeoPixels, of course. So you can use your finger to just scroll like that or scroll like that or let it free flow. And depending on the size of your page, you can get from top to bottom, depending how long it is also on web pages or whatever and but you can still scroll smoothly and if you need to find a certain like a line number uh, on a mouse wheel it takes forever to do that on here not using the mouse wheel if you look at the line numbers with your eyes you can very exactly scroll to the line number you want to. So this will be my next product for um, Kickstarter. Right now I have finished my Neo clock, but I will make a separate video on that. And uh, actually I will have it uh, professionally taken, the video captured professionally because with my phone camera, the, the colors are off. For example, this is really a deep red, but looks orange. This is orange, looks orange. But um, plus it's overexposed when I do it with the phone camera. So to get a nice view, I will have that professionally taken pictures and video. So I will upload on that. And uh, this is it for today. So if you are interested in the other products, please do uh, hit the notification, no, the subscription bell, uh, subscription button, oh, I'm all off today, subscription button and then hit the notification bell that way and then you will get notified. Anyway, thanks for watching and take care everybody.